this recipe might be something you want to try. We're going to make applesauce bread. So first we need to do is a large bowl and then we're going to combine in our butter. sugar and then an egg and we're going to just blend those together after those have blended we're going to add flour and this is one cup of flour I'm adding And a half cup of flour and then we're going to add baking soda which is this is one and a half teaspoon of baking soda and then we're going to add the rest of the spices that go in it so this is a one teaspoon of cinnamon and then three-fourths of nutmeg okay. and then our teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now you're just going to stir this together, blend it until it forms like a, a dough that starts a crumbly dough that you're going to want. So when it starts to form this dough, that's when you want to add your applesauce in. And I get unsweetened applesauce. If you want to do just regular applesauce, you can. I'm going to open this up. It usually takes about, I usually use about four cups of these. So what it calls for is one cup Now you're just going to blend this together so we can get a nice mixture. And while I'm working on this blending, I'm going to turn on my air fryer and turn it to 310. And we're going to cook it about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to at least get it pre-started, at least get it warming up for five minutes. So I'm turning on my air fryer. And I'm going to put it down to 310. And then, like I said, we're going to try 25 to 30 minutes. I'm just going to start around 30 minutes and let it warm up to 25. And then I'll add my product in. Make sure you read your instructions because different air fryers work at different temps. Um, so this temp may not work in your air fryer too. So now I am getting this all blended together. I'm going to take these pans. I have two loaf pans that I use in the air fryer to cook this. And you can put parchment paper down if you want to, or just take some cooking spray and just give it a light coating inside. You don't need much. And then what we're going to do is pour these in evenly. 
in each of them. Then I'm going to put these in the air fryer. So the air fryer now has warmed up and to 25 minutes that are left. So I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to put my loaves in there. And I have a little tray that's sitting in there so that they can be up off of the bottom so the bottoms aren't going to burn first. And then I'm just gonna pop this back in. And now it's gonna start. Um, you do want to make sure you watch this because you don't want it to overcook or the top to burn. Um, it could get done sooner too. So you want to occasionally check on it. You know, make sure to turn your little light on um, if you have one on there and so you can look in um, if you have an air fryer like this one. Um, and then to uh, know if it's done, you'll just put either a toothpick or a fork in it and it should come out clean and, and that means it's done. And of course, if it looks done, I definitely check that. All right, so we are gonna come back and we'll check it and make sure it's finished. So now we are going to open it up and look and see and check on it. You just wanna be careful because it can be very hot. Of course, it's still it's not done yet, but it's cooking really nicely. So we're gonna let it finish. All right, so after it's finished, you just dump it out onto a tray, cut it up, slice it, and then you'll be ready to serve it with either some butter margin on it. It's really good. Um, it smells so good too. It just reminds me of Thanksgiving and Christmas, and this is usually the time of year that I like to cook it. Um, so make sure to check out this uh, recipe and try it out yourself. Um, give me some feedback if you really like it or not. Um, also, if you don't have an air fryer, you can still do the same ingredients, directions, and then put it in your oven. And then you can put it in your oven for 350 for 40 minutes. And still check on it though to make sure you don't overcook it and see that it's done earlier. Um, so make sure to try this out. Um, check out our other videos that we have on this YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. We have a lot of great upcoming videos and um, programs that are happening in October.